Right, it's a little bit windy today, but um, I'm under the carport and let's apply some primer to these areas. See you in a second. Right, well I've got my uh, Lecler TI primer now, I've waxed and greased removed all these areas that I've sprayed the um, etching primer on. So let's get our mask on and start touching these in. Again I'm spraying with the HVLP gun, it's got a 1.3 tip on it and it's mixed at 4 part primer to 1 part hardener and we have about 10% thinners in as well. So, And I'm spraying it to 2 bar which is about 28 pounds pressure. <laughs> Again, I'm only applying light coats at the moment because it dries pretty quick so the time I've gone around and done them will be time to come back and do another uh, coat.
Right, right okay. So that's all the little spots given one coat. I'm just going to let that go off, let the solvents evaporate, and then we'll go around and give it another hit. You ain't got to see that. I'll show you the next stage after that. Right, okay, that's uh, all the patches that I've treated with etching primer. I've now gone over uh, two or three times to give them a nice bit of body over the actual uh, sanding down areas which I've done. Let's just take you around it and show you where I've actually done. Well, as you can see, it's all in the drying off process now. Anywhere where I broke through as well, when I went through to the undercoat on the wings, I've actually given that a coat of primer as well. And as you can see, I've gone around all where it was... Um, or where it was necessary. I'm not too worried about the lower skirt there as you know because that's going to be um, dealt with with the uh, chip guard so I've uh, there's one of the repairs I don't know if you can actually see it or not that's one of the roof repairs there. Now this one here as you can see this one's got a bit of a, a ridge still on it now I've built this up quite a lot with primer so what you actually see in there is quite a high build of primer there and once this goes hard when I sand that back you'll actually find that this filler primer will actually disappear and that will be a, a, a sort of a faultless um, repair there so don't worry if you see things like that I've purposely built that up because it was a little bit under still and I've just purposely built it up with the primer this primer goes off like a filler as I said to you so don't worry about that there's the other rear repair there as you can see uh, just going around the car again the wheel arch has been touched in all around the bottom there where I did a little repair down there that was chipped down there as you know there's the other roof repair I'll, I'll try and get it at a pretty good angle for you don't forget there's a, a, a thing that sits over here I've got to redo a fixing screw in there just drill and tap a new screw in there but there's an end cap which goes on there and a rubber uh, seal runs down this channel there as you know but um, the actual stone chips and the rust areas are gone there there's the one that was in the middle of the roof you can't actually see that at all now so with a light sanding down don't forget this whole roof had been sanded down with 500 there's a lot of overspray on there which you can probably see if I rub my hand on it not worried about that this will be gone over again with a 500 and that will take off all this overspray and also just gently blend this raised primer into the background so and that's what I'll do as I say that will be a final 500 wet, wet sand Exactly the same with the uh, bits down the front here. You remember all the marks we had on the front of the, ring, the wing there? As you can see, they've all totally disappeared now under the primer. Again, a light sand will actually bring that back to our finished surface. And yeah, so basically that's that. Now, it did actually pour down with rain while I was doing all this, so I was a little bit unfortunate, but um, we've got over the problem now anyway. The sun's come out again now. And I'm gonna let this go off now for a few hours because you've got to let the solvents evaporate and uh, if you don't do that you can have problems with uh, shrinkage and also evaporate off I could put the heat lamp out but because I've got loads of areas to do I'll let it dry naturally so then I'll move on and we'll do the uh, chip guarding so I'm going to do that shortly